Hi and welcome. My name is Rich Bassini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay for July 12, 2020. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. I hope you like the content and you come back for more. Today I want to talk about a couple things. Is there money in selling t-shirts? Did you ever hear of freecycle.org? Well, if not, I'm going to share it with you guys. Stick around. It's coming up. Okay, for those who are new, I do not read everything verbatim. I will give you the URLs where I got the information from, and the rest is up to you to pick up where I left off. Now, for those of you who don't know or not aware, um, but you, I don't know if you've heard of Reddit, I'm sure a lot of you have, eBay has a group there, and it's on Reddit. <laughs> and I'm going to give you the URL to get to that group. Um, or you could also do a Google search, but I will give you the URL. It's www.reddit.com forward slash r forward slash eBay forward slash. It'll bring you to this page here. Okay. Now you remember when I, I, I talked about the opening? I was you know, the opening was, can you make money with T-shirts? And also I was talking about freecycle.org, and I'm going to get into that in a second. I got a few windows open up here, and you're probably wondering why I'm doing this video. But I just want to share this information with you guys. And if this is the first time visiting, I just want to say welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I do the uh, Let's Talk eBay segments and the reseller news, and I'm also a vlogger. And there's going to be occasion, you know, on occasion, I will do other stuff besides talking about online reselling. But today we're going to do Let's Talk eBay. All right. Um, what I like about Reddit or eBay Reddit, I should say, is um. They got some good posts on there, and you can leave a post if you choose to do so. If you look about the community over here, right in the blue where my mouse cursor is, is, is moving around, you will see there are 64,000, uh, over 64,000 members, and it's 303 people online right now. You could also create a post, and you could also, you know, uh, leave a comment if you choose to do so. What I like about Reddit, it's got really interesting. Um, and, you know, titles in there and stories that you could read and you know, pick up on especially if you are an eBay seller or if you're thinking about selling on eBay you may want to check this site out as well now for a lot of people do follow me on this YouTube channel I like to share free information that's what my YouTube channel is all about to help inspire and share so I hope you guys who come here for the first time uh, you do get a takeaway from it because like as I said in my other videos it's very important to me that you guys get a takeaway from the information I put out Okay, I, and I really do hope it helps. Um, the way you can let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That would be greatly be appreciated. And uh, if you got any comments or questions you want to leave, you know, as long as they're nice, I do respond to them. <laughs> um, I really appreciate that as well. But anyway, let's get into this here because I don't want to keep this too too long. I want to try to keep it short. I know every time I say that to you guys, I, I forgive me. It's just that I got so much information I want to share with you guys. I can't condense it sometimes, you know. I want to get it out there to you. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff here really quick. Um, I'm just going to scroll down here to some of the titles, and you can check it out for yourself. I highly recommend you go there because you get some good information here, okay. Uh, I know it's. I also talked to you guys about uh, watch watchcount.com. I also talked you about. I told you about downdetector.com. Good sites. This is another good site, okay. And people will post stuff up there, and you could too also post stuff, okay? Um, so this is what they got going on here. You look at some of the stories, and uh, you know, I, I like I, like I said again, I hope this information is helpful to you. And again, this is eBay Reddit, okay? They, you know, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but eBay also has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, they have, you know. Uh, I think I post that in my other videos. I'm not going to do it again in this one here, but they do have a YouTube channel as well. Matter of fact, they have a couple of YouTube channels, if I'm not mistaken. But see, these are some of the things people post here, okay? So check it out if you get a chance. And the story that I'm bringing you eBay Reddit is because I was looking through my emails, and I do subscribe to e uh, eBay um, Reddit, and I got this story that I thought was interesting, and it goes on to say here, and I've been, I just came back a little while ago earlier uh, with my brother. We went, to two, we went to the two local thrift stores around here. They're open today. And um, we were talking about selling clothing online. And then I came home and I looked at this here. And this was posted by um, some person over here, Olivia Charlene, whatever, 20 hours ago. Um, a person says, just sold a vintage band tee for $205, paid 400 I uh, paid $4.09 for it at a Goodwill. Okay? 
Uh, I can now afford a slightly nicer couch, and I've been eyeballing for my new apartment. That is awesome. That, that is a great find to me, folks. When you can get something that cheap and flip it for, for a, a large sum amount of money, that is awesome. Now, I know a lot of people out there, especially if you're a seasoned seller, you say, well, this is nothing new. But, folks, try to understand one thing. The information I'm posting out here is not only for the seasoned sellers, but it's for people thinking about selling on eBay, just to show you the potential, what, people can, you, know, what, you, what you can make. So really keep this in mind. And I wanna, I'm going to go over some other stuff. Uh, but here's the thing. When I said ban tea, I wasn't sure what they were talking about, ban tea. I thought it was some kind of special t-shirt. It's but Apparently, it deals with bands, oh, like rock bands, music bands. That's the way I understood it. And somebody writes on the bottom over here, well, right underneath it, nice picture. Uh, no, no, it says nice picture. It says no picture of either the shirt or the couch. <laughs> All right. So the person says, sadly, the couch has not arrived yet, but there is, here's the shirt. And when I clicked it on, this is what the person bought. Um, for four dollars and nine cents at their local Goodwill, and this shirt, according to this person, had sold for two hundred five dollars. Excellent find, awesome. Um, give me something to keep in touch. You know, keep keep in mind when I go in there. Now I was just walking at my thrift store over here, and uh, I was looking at some T-shirts, and they have some nice stuff there. You know what I like about T-shirts? about that type of business if you, if you get into it like instead of getting like me i'm involved with printers and coffee pots you know the cure rigs and stuff what i would love about that is you could hang them up in a rack so many of them in a rack and all you need is those plastic shipping bags like me i make custom boxes and i use the pad envelopes of course like that but I, what i like about that type of business you know dealing with clothing on that aspect now i know a lot of people say wait a minute me other videos say you're not really crazy about selling clothing no i'm not but if you specialize in one particular thing, like let's say I was on the hunt for these type of shirts, vintage T-shirts like this here, yeah, then that's an eye-opening. I say, you know what? Maybe I will, you know, trip up a little, and the next time I go to thrift store, I'll start looking for these things. That's why I'm telling. That's why I'm bringing it to your attention as well. Okay. So, with that being said, that's the T-shirt according to the the person who sold it. That's what was sold. Um, now, if you go out and look it up for yourself, are you going to find one like that? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how many they made in them, whatever. You may, you may not. Keep it in mind, though, okay? Again, with the vintage T-shirts. So then I went to, of course, I had to check it out on eBay. I checked out Vintage Band T, and this came up. Um, as you can see, looking at this here, there's 57,738 results for Vintage Band T. Uh, <laughs> Not gonna look through all 57,000, but this will give you an idea of what they're selling for, folks. That, that's that's what I'm. That's what I'm. The point I'm getting across. Um, they all range at different prices. I'm not saying you're gonna find that diamond in the rough where you're gonna say, "Oh, if I get this T-shirt for 4.99, I'm gonna sell it for 205 dollars." I don't know. We don't know. It's all like I said again with eBay. It's all a hit and miss. But you'll never know unless you try. Now, if you go to your local thrift store, or if you got a Goodwill, our Goodwills around here closed up. Or they went further out, like out, way out there, miles away. And I don't like to travel too far. I like to stay in a local geographic area. Um, that's just the way I am. But they do have uh, a lot of T-shirts. I mean, rows and rows of T-shirts, all different sizes, you know, large, medium, small, whatever. And, um, you know, you could spend hours there just looking at them. That's how big the racks are. That's how much they got of these things. They're inundated with them. But this will give you an idea of what t-shirts or that specific band is selling for whatever if you come across these things some you know are worth good money and some are like this one over here jeff healy uh band whatever between 16 dollars and 14 cents to 28 uh, 21 dollars and 84 cents you got two watches and then i always look to as i told you guys when i was like to do my own research when it comes to things like this i like to send me watches or watching these particular items kind of like gives you a little little light bulb goes off like hey that's probably the ones you might want to keep an eye on because they got more watches than uh jeff healy <laughs> you know i'm just saying it, to me i i use that as a as part of my strategy for uh selling the things but as you can see here and then there's some that don't have any watches okay but not i'm not saying every t-shirt is going to be you know that diamond in a rough all right the other thing too um you could also make purchases with uh, t-shirts 
you know, like I said, make for, for example, right off of Google. If you type in vintage T-shirts, they might say, wait a minute, you go into Google, but you go, yeah, you can. You can. It's plain and simple. Uh, why do I say that? Because here they have, not, not all of them, but here you got Poshmark, you got Amazon, you got AliExpress, okay? Um, then they have other companies that do sell it. Here's eBay, okay? T-shirt, Makaha, whatever, surf contest. So right from Google, if you didn't know, you could make that purchase right from there. Uh, I don't know if people wear that, but some people think when they do a Google search, you know, like me, I've typed in vintage T-shirt images. I just typed that in, and it brought this up here. So if you go click on here, the first one I picked up is uh, Poshmark. I sell on Poshmark as well. So when you click on that one for Poshmark, let's click it back on again. Oh, we got to go over here, click on Poshmark Nikon. Um, it will bring you to that, um, that, that, that you know, uh, item that you're looking for. In, in this one here, the Nike vintage T-shirt. It was 25, they marked it down to 14. So even from the uh, Google search, you can make purchases right from there. Like in other words, it hyperlinks you to that place there. For example, um, like this one here, this orange crush shirt, right? Yeah. Okay. This is on Amazon. They got the active hyperlink there, right? Even gives you a little information. T Love Orange Crush T-shirt, vintage crush soda, uh, soda logo, graphic T-shirt. Even gives you the ratings and boom. It hyperlinks you right over to uh, Amazon as well, and there you go. That's what it's selling for between nineteen dollars and ninety-seven cents to twenty-one ninety-seven. Okay, so to keep that in mind, you know, you could do, you could just hyperlink right from the, uh, right from a Google search. Pretty cool, right? I know. Um, anyway, and then I typed in again. Let's bump out of here and let's bump out of here. I also, being a Google fan, I typed in. Is there money? in selling old t-shirts and look at the response that came up look how many about results okay that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot of results short answer yes selling shirts is not hard while everyone and their grandma is doing it now not everyone is doing it right um if you take the extra time to do a small things you can get started and profit from t-shirts in 2019 this talks about 2019 it takes time to build a profitable passive business and then, of course, if you look over, you had to sell T-shirts online in 2020. You could click that on. Modern frugal, uh, frugality. Then it goes to another one over here. The hustle.com has it, how I made $100,000 on Teespring in five months to hustle. So for you guys out there that are looking to make some cash, you could do it. They even got some videos right over here, as you can see, where my mouse cursor is moving around. They even have things here, how to make money selling T-shirts online. Start your own. How to make a million dollars selling T-shirts how to make money selling online and I'm sure they got others here too if you click this here um, so that's just an idea just a little way you know give you an idea of uh, what is selling out there um, I just bring this to your attention like I said I don't want to expand too too much on this here the only reason why I, you know I, I am doing this video about the t-shirts is because this was in my email I get emails from reddit and I came across this story and I said you know what Maybe people out there, maybe if you're new, maybe, you know, you're thinking about selling on eBay, maybe you're not. I don't know. I thought I'd just throw it out there. Thought maybe, you know, it'd be a little extra oomph to, uh, you know, spark a little interest in it to get you, uh, you know, uh, to, to help you make business, to help, help you make money. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to be keeping a lookout for this stuff. Now, you know, uh, I read that there. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to find a shirt like that, but one never knows, right? Okay, the other thing I want to talk about and I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible because I do want to empty this, uh, you know, end this video shortly. Is this uh, website called freecycle.org? Okay. Um, what I like about freecycle.org is if you look here, I know the wording is very small, but if you go to the home, you could browse the groups, frequent ask questions about life cycle, uh, about free cycle, donate, sponsors, log up, and you can sign in. Now, if you go to the browse, it's going to bring you all the states. Well, it should bring all 50 states, I would think. But if you live in any states here, you can click on, for example, I'm in New York. Now, you're probably saying, what is this freecycle.org? Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Some people may post stuff to sell, and some people would post stuff there to give away for free. Why buy it if you can get it free, right? <laughs> so if you live in any of these states, you can click it on. Okay, it, sell, it tells you right here, and it says other countries too. If you click on view other countries, this, that's how far it goes. Look at all the countries that it deals with. Okay, uh, 
So it's it's a pretty broad website as far as like you know uh, what they what they have to offer. But for all you know intense purposes, we're going to go back to the one over here in the United States. I'm in the state of New York, so I'm going to click on New York, and I'm just going to pick a town. I picked over here Hempstead, and when you click on Hempstead. It's going to give you all items, offers, wanted, group, my post, my groups, my info. Now, I don't have anything posted up here, but I'll give you an example of how it works, all right? Um, here, like kitchen items, all right? Let's look at this one here, kitchen items. We click that on, and this one came out today, July 12th. It says over here, hi, I have a mini Swiss pull chopper. I also have a mini loaf, little, uh, like little personal pound cakes when you can, uh, where you can come. Uh, all items are free uh, on free cycle or, or, or gifted freely and offer a direct pickup. Avoid scams. Don't send payment for any reason. Include delivery costs. Further updates here. Okay. And this is the thing that I guess the person's getting rid of, right? Or maybe something else. Maybe this is, all right, this is probably an advertisement. Okay. But let's get one where they actually tell you where you could actually have it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, with me for one minute, folks. You got to look at these things. They got a lot. People here's 566 results for these things here, it just within this Hempstead area. I'm just using this as a township there. Uh, here's an electric dryer. Let's see what this one's all about. Um, will tra location will travel. This is wanted. Okay. Anyone have electric dryer? They no longer need. We need one to hold. Uh, we need one to hold us over until we can get a gas connected for a new dryer. Okay. That's one. That's a description of it. And you can reply to the post. All right. Uh, these are wanted. These are all. Then I have one if you click for offers. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to get something here really quick. I could just show you that, you know, uh, what they have here. Uh, these are ones here. I want to get the um, all items. The ones where they have actually, where they say people say oh, it's for free. <laughs> okay. It's. Uh, I'm not going to go through 566 review things here. They have stuff that's wanted, of course. Um, let's see what this one here is. Oh, here. Uh, bear with me for one second. Portable speaker. C4, no Bluetooth. Now, this one here, let's look at this one here. It says uh, portable speaker for phones and iPods, North Belmore. It tells you the name over here. C photo, not, uh, not Bluetooth. Click on. Now, this one here, I don't know if the person is going to give this away for free, but there are people that do give things away for free on these things as well. Um, my post. I don't have anything on my post as far as I know. You could if you want, if you have things here. You know, it's not bad to look into this here, okay? Um, you know, about Free Cycle, they have it over here. They could read up a little more about the company. If you get a chance, check it out. I'm not going to get too, too much into this topic uh, I just wanted to throw it out there to you guys, okay? Um, it's good. It's a good site. Have I used it yet? Not yet. I did sign up. I am law. I do have a sign up. You know, I do have a login with them. Um, and it'll tell you a little about it. You know, they got the news, why history, uh, mission statement, press room, and so on. You could read more into it. Um, yeah, frequent asked questions. And again, we have to get the browse groups. But definitely, if you get a chance, check it out. Um, let me give you the URL. It's www dot free cycle one word dot org okay uh, keep that in mind check it out let me know what you think if you guys do check out this here this this website here um, and if you actually even use it uh, and you, you felt you got a takeaway from it let's say it was helpful in some way um, let me know you know drop it in the comment below let us know you know hey I, I checked out that free cycle and uh, I needed something and somebody had it and they you know and they they said you can come pick it up for free that's the way I understand it to be uh, there's another one I can't think of if he has another one uh, that's uh, pretty much close to like the free cycle it's in the New York area too I don't know if it's in a, a I don't know the name of exactly of it but if I do have it out there I will you know post it out there but right I can't remember offhand but I remember having this one on my uh, desktop and uh, I do check it on occasion not too often just to see what they have we have a thing here called the patch and just to share this with you guys and it's it's in our local area okay and some people will post stuff to, for sale and there are people that will offer things for free uh, for example I haven't used it yet because I already have pretty much enough of the uh, items I'm looking for uh, I've seen printers they're free printers uh, you know for free for pickup for free on, on the patches and um, then you'll see stuff for like coffee pots that people don't want them or 
we are, we're getting rid of a stove. But this is in our geographic area, folks. Okay. Now, for out of state, is you're not going to, of course, use that. But they would have things like that. Okay. And uh, I've seen it, but I never really do because I have I, I, I sold printers and I do have Keurig machines. Some people will charge you, you know, like will uh, charge you for them. They'll, they'll sell them. And then some people say, come pick it up for free. So um, why not? If you can get things for free, why not? Right? Why pay for it when it's when a person is offering it to you? You know. Uh, so that's that's a pretty good thing too but um, check this out and let me know what you think and if you do use it if it is helpful somehow some way to you guys uh, you could put stuff over there again that that's wanted that you need you could post on it as, as you can see as I showed you earlier so uh, check it out if you get a chance all right um, let me bump out of the screen here well that concludes this video I hope you found the information helpful and if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post out new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay for July 12, 2020. I'm wishing you all the best in your sales. Until next time, bye-bye for now.